Dear friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Isaac Rai here. Once I am back with the remaining part of Superbook, Paul and the Unknown God episode. After Apostle Paul says, I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. Joy asks to Paul, But what do you say to someone who doesn't think God is real, who doesn't even believe in God? Then Paul answers, Ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Through everything God made, they can see His invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature. So, they have no excuse for not knowing God. After Apostle Paul ex explains some more on what we can see in the witness of creation, he also says to Chris and Joy that Lord God existed before anything else and He holds all creation together. After the completion of conversation with Paul, Superbook brings Chris, Joy, Gizmo and Cubit back to Science Space Camp at Valley View Lab. And they start to work on how to demonstrate the truth of Christ by using science as an acceptance of the Commander Conrad's challenge to prove him that God do exist. They prepare for the camp demonstration keeping in mind that Apostle Paul shared the gospel to everyone and everywhere he went. Finding what someone already believes is true and then build on that to the truth of Christ. After the full preparation of camp demonstration, on the day of the demonstration, Chris prays to Lord Jesus on stage before the beginning of their presentation. Then Chris and Joy start their presentation saying, Our presentation is little different tonight. We got the idea from one of my heroes, astronaut Dr. Duke Conrad. He challenged us and made us think. We admire him as we do other scientists because they try to understand the world around us. Then Joy says in front of everyone that Chris and she believe in God and they are Christians. She further says some people think those don't go together and there is a battle between science and God. Even that science can show that God doesn't exist but will help to show tonight why that is false. Chris gives examples of creation and Joy raises questions and Chris explains how everything that are into existence come into being through God our Creator. Chris quotes from the book of Hebrews, The worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made out of the things which are visible. Hebrews 11 verse 3 Joy then says, So you can see, we don't find God as we find a flower or a plant, because God is not an object in the universe. If He were, then we could always ask, What caused God? Instead, God is the cause, the reason why any things exist. Like it says in Colossians 1.17, He existed before anything else and He holds all creation together. Chris says, once you understand who God is and the nature of the universe, you can see there is no problem in thinking that God exists. And in being a scientist, because science studies all that we see in time, the things created and maintained by God. Then Joy adds, in fact, those largely responsible for formulating the scientific methods believed in God. And Chris says, majority of greatest scientists who ever lived have been the believers of God. In fact, they were Christians. 
in their presentation, Christian Joy even lists out the names of several scientists and show their images along with what they have contributed in the field of science. Joy adds, So far from dealing with the battle between science and God, these scientists found they were gaining better understanding of God by studying His creation. Then Chris quotes the Bible verse from Romans 1, God's eternal power and character cannot be seen, but from the beginning of creation, God has shown what these are like, all He has made. After the completion of Chris and Joy's presentation, Commander Conrad says to Chris that he is still not convinced, but he is glad about what Chris thinks. Then during the preparation of returning home from that science camp, Chris and his father meet and had some talk regarding science, God and Commander Conrad. And Chris ends his conversation with his father by saying, It's Jesus. I didn't know even there were reasons to believe. I experienced God and that was so awesome, so real, so undeniable. Jesus is here. Now he is available to everyone, too wise, too weak, too rich, too poor, to scientists. He is available to you, Dad. Then Chris Dad replies, I believe you are right, son. I believe you are right. This episode of Superbook ends by showing Commander Conrad in the presentation hall where he asks question to himself, why is there something rather than nothing? Then these words are heard, heaven declares the glory of God. The sky display his craftsmanship. Dear friends, thank you for watching and God bless. Please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel to encourage us for making better content in future.